well let's start a video on workout okay so this is all about the inspiring part so now you might ask me how am i qualified to talk about working out as a computer science teacher you should get that doubt why the hell i am talking about this fine see this is a topic which is my favorite topic in fact apart from reading books teaching and maybe coding and all this stuff the one thing i really love about i love or uh, you know uh, my passion i could say is working out and i always wanted to have that eight pack body but then i really never dedicated that enough time it takes really 3 to 4 hours of workout every day and then a great diet in order to get an eight pack or six pack without taking any steroids but right now or at any point in my life i never found that much of time or you know so i never found that time so that is the only reason i didn't try it and then the reason why i never did any video on this uh, workout is uh, because I, i always wanted to get an eight pack and then probably take off the shirt show you the eight pack and then inspire you but right now i am not in that position to take my shirt off and recently uh, abhishek abhishek also was asking me to show my biceps right see this is this is what i got just to inspire now jokes apart so what i mean to say is in this video workout is not always about looking good or getting a six pack it is all about staying fit okay so fitness should be the aim not looking good but if you look good that obviously adds confidence right and the reason why i have started this uh, fitness video so early without postponing till i get a uh, six pack or eight pack is because uh, already uh, see this person this simadri is forcing me a lot to do videos on fitness and then diet because he wants to lose 10 kg of weight by the time he reaches iasc and maybe he wants to become a handsome hunk there but uh, <laughs> the fact is even himadri if you go to iasc now i yeah so let me introduce you this person himadri is a pers- himadri did his btech from electronics and then uh, he did his i mean he ro- he has written gate and he's got ar15 in gate computer science and he's going to join iasc so what i wanted to tell him is uh, himadri even if you go there as a handsome hunk there will be only boys so i think there will be two three girls and uh, there will be huge competition for them so don't don't get uh, don't get demotivated let me inspire you then okay don't worry when you go into companies and your aim is to become a data scientist maybe when you go into a, you know amazon as a data scientist or google or facebook uh, there you can do uh, there again again the fact is there also at that level there will be no girls so okay so himadri don't get demotivated we have to work <laughs> you, you can work hard and lose those 10 kg before you get into this okay so fine anyway jokes apart so before talking about the fitness videos and then how about the fitness i want to i want to tell you how i am qualified or how i started see i started working out right from my 8th standard 8th standard so actually 8th standard means i did my 8th standard two times so second time 8th standard is what i i wanted to say now why i did 8th standard two times is that is a long story i'll share with you sometime sometime and now uh, who inspired me to start this so early is my mama my maternal uncle my mom sanga brother so he used to he used to study in uh, this uh, sainik school where they used to have this uh, you know physical workouts and then good uh, good sports and all this and i used to be i used to be a very small kid i used to be in i think second standard or first standard and he used to be in this sainik school and for holidays you know the he it, you know he it was a hostel he used to stay in hostel and in holidays he used to come home to my grandma's home and my grandma's home i used to go there to play and that is how i used to see what he was he, he was doing see he was from a very poor background my grandma's house is just a hut just uh, you know not even this bricks you can say this you know uh, without bricks i think i don't know what you call them these days so there will be some walls without bricks and now in that in that hut he used he has filled up the entire uh, walls uh, you know the made of that uh, you know cardboard or something with uh, the arnold schwarzenegger and then um, who is the silverstone stallone and michael jackson and many other bodybuilders so all these mike tyson i guess i don't remember i don't remember the names but then arnold schwarzenegger from terminator and then uh, 
this uh, Rambo, uh, Sylvester Stallone, I remember well. He used to have those pictures in on the walls. And when I go there into that uh, you know, place, to my grandma's home, I used to stay there a lot of time. And I used to see these pictures. They used to inspire me a lot. And more than that, my mama he used to get a dumbbell. So he, while coming from that hostel, he used to carry a small green dumbbell and uh, he used to do that uh, you know <laughs> biceps that i have been showing you so he used to work out for the biceps using the dumbbell and now and now when i you i too used to try i used to hold it you know with two hands and i tried to lift it and i used to fall down and all this but then it it was where i got the inspiration from so that is what your environment actually inspires you to do something now later in, in, in some, some other video I'll talk about how to set up your environment. So that is where my story began. And then in second standard I asked my mom that I want to become a bodybuilder. Uh, and then I, I asked her to send me to a gym. And I don't know what she was thinking then. She really sent me to a gym which was just opposite my house. And it was not actually a gym. So it was having some fence. So yeah, it was, it was a small town and it was having a fence and there were wooden, uh, wooden benches. And there were some wooden equipment and rusted dumbbells. So dumbbells were completely rusted. And if, uh, if it rains, I think they, they just uh, drench in rain. So now what happens is there used to be even the uh, the wooden things which people will do like this for tricep. So there, it was it was a kind of gym like that, and I went there in my second class. Somehow they allowed me inside, and then the coach who was there he told me that it is not it was not the right is, and he asked me to come back. I think after I, 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 I he has told me some years I don't remember. I, he asked me to come back after some some time. And then I then that is how I attended there at my second standard and again I started it in eighth standard again my mama was my inspiration okay so my mama then he was doing as I told you he was in I think seventh standard or eighth standard when I was in second standard and later he went on he went on to become uh, he he did his MBBS from AFMC Air Force Medical College and there he has won this uh, Mr. AFMC so the picture that you are seeing now that is uh, what he that is his picture in that competition mr afmc and he is the only south indian so far i think till now i don't know about the last few batches he is the only south indian to have won that competition that mr afmc it seems that it is a tradition there that every time uh, punjabis uh, win the competition but for the first time a south indian won the uh, mr afmc competition two times in uh, consecutively so when i see his body at, at see everyone used to be uh, you know, turning the heads and looking at him when he walked. So that, that was the trend that he created at that time. So at that time I think only Salman Khan was having such a body. And now whenever he used to walk or he used to go on bike, everyone used to look at him like this. And, and then even I remember the occasions where girls used to give me flowers in order to give them to him. And he too used to give the flowers to girls. But then I, I was a kid, I didn't understand all this. But somehow I understood that okay having a great body will make you somehow popular and then that is how my journey started so that there is some inspiration okay and um, yeah so from 8th standard onwards i was going to gym and i was working out and one other reason why i went to gym in 8th standard is as you know i'm dyslexic and i can't play cricket and no one used to let me play cricket because i can't catch that ball so the, I can't dis, dis, distinguish between that speed and uh, you know size and all these things. So that is one of the reasons I had I had no other option. So I had to go to uh, gym and uh, do that workout because that is easy. I just used to hang. I used to go to gym and I used to hang on the wall. That's it. I mean that rod. So that gym trainer, what he used to do is every day he used to tell me only one workout. I, he said that I was too short. <laughs> okay, still I'm short. And he asked me to hang. And maybe I might have developed some 2-3 inches, I, I might have grown 2-3 inches then. So anyway, that is, that is all about my story, that is where it began. And from then onwards, I was continuously doing it. So what I mean to say is, I know uh, at least uh, about this topic to uh, tell you a lot of, thing, lot of things. Okay, apart from my story, coming to the workout, what kind of workout you should be doing is, see everyone should have their own personal goals. And based on your personal goal, you should be preparing the workout as well as uh, the workout, uh, you know, uh, the what kind of workouts you want to choose and, and the food that you have to eat. So if you want to put on weight, put on muscle, right, then you need to do weight training. 
very less amount of cardio so please google out about what is weight training weight training is nothing but when you use dumbbells or external weights in order to create the resistance on your muscles so how your muscle grow is when you put some resistance on it what happens is it will try to build more and more fibers right so uh, yeah now for those who want to gain you know, muscle you can start right now and maybe for one month don't take any protein diet just go to gym have a coach initially so always it is important don't do this without any supervision if you are working especially on weights it is dangerous so videos doesn't work get a coach get a proper uh, uh, you know trainer at gym so he might charge you 200 or 300 rupees extra per month then under his supervision you start off right so initially when you start so many people ask me how to build muscle and I uh, see I continuously sometimes build on put on muscle and then rip it down so I do this on and off just to be in a, in a position where or just to be in a state where I could get that good body whenever I want so I just want to be fit enough so that I could transform my body whenever I, I get time so till now I didn't get time and I'm hoping that I'll get some time in the future okay coming back to this point now first thing is start going to gym if you want to put on the weight and what time you should be going to gym is see i'll tell you i'll tell you a few things about it mm, first thing is when you when you work out for certain parts of your body let us say it, just now i have shown you that i was doing some you know dumbbell press so when i do this uh, uh, what happens is there is some kind of uh, resistance or stress or pressure i am creating on my arms now because of this our body will try to send a lot of oxygen and nutrients to this part through blood so that is how blood gets pumped to the body i mean to that body part and you might have seen that particular part bulging or increasing in size when you do the workout only for that part right so either you do it for chest or you do it for arms no you generally see that instantaneously it has increased a bit the size has increased a bit now you might ask the question where is this blood coming from so for most part of the day all the blood the i mean i think i don't know exactly how much percent i forgot it when i read it so it is present in our gut that means the small in, uh, the large intestine and then the small intestine all this put together now there blood will be circulating uh, for most of the time in order to digest the food help digest the food and take out the nutrients and probably trans transfer them to other parts of the body therefore when your blood is busy digesting the food uh, asking it to go to other parts of the body is not advisable right so when you work out first rule is see that your stomach is empty okay which means you should not be uh, full on stuff and, and you should not work out after a good meal for at least three four hours okay at least three hours now early if you are trying to put on weight then you can do a workout at any point in time any point in time um, but then my suggestion would be try to do it in the morning always try to do this in the mornings so that even if you miss out a session in the morning there will be a chance for you to do it in the evening but if you try to have it in the evening generally most of the times what i see is evenings will be not in our control because there will be a lot of work coming in sometimes your friends will invite you to movies or there will be a lot of disturbances so always try to work out in the morning but if you are trying to put on weight the time doesn't matter just give three hours of gap right and for those who are starting initially i'll just uh, i just want to warn you that for one week time there will be muscle pain and it is completely normal and don't get discouraged because of this pain and don't stop working out so just push yourself for one week and see the most important or most difficult thing uh, when you try anything new is uh, starting it and once you start it and once it becomes a habit it will be very difficult for you to stop it so try to remember that and now why do you get this muscle pain is our muscles see if, you know if you see this muscle as a mass actually this is a, a collection of um, see you can think of this as a uh, that uh, layer above this uh, coconut 
so that that is the uh, part which is made of lot of fibers if you see so exactly like that our muscle is also made of lot of fibers millions of fibers right and now for the first time when you try to put lot of pressure or stress on your muscle by putting some weight and pulling it up most of the fibers that are present inside your muscle they tear down which means they will get cut right cut 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 cut, cut. so now when that happens your there is a damage inside your muscle which actually creates the pain which because of which signals will be sent to your brain in order to send some hormones to that part especially i think this is growth hormone i don't remember the hormone name now that hormone will be responsible for rebuilding the muscle and also adding more fibers in order to increase its size right so now how do you build muscle is just start off with a basic weight minimal weight see don't rush so don't go to the gym and start weighting 50 kg of weight right away okay no don't do that just start slowly initially maybe you can start with 5 kg i mean that depends on you again it varies from person to person start with the smallest dumbbell possible see whether it is able whether you are able to put enough stress on yourself enough stress on your muscle and if it is fine then okay then gradually every week you should increase it so that more and more fibers get added to your muscle as a result your muscle you know you'll put on increasing muscles right and now what about the diet coming to diet if you are serious about bodybuilding then you should you should eat uh, non vegetarian food which means uh, you know my diet my diet typically when i when i do when i try to put on muscle my diet will be like this i eat uh, chicken early in the morning maybe at 4 4 am 5 am i eat uh, chicken so the boiled chicken and then i eat 6 uh, or 7 egg whites so don't get shocked i eat uh, maybe 100 grams or 200 grams probably 200 grams of boiled chicken no uh, no oil nothing and then i eat this 6 uh, or 7 egg whites and then uh, i eat the oats oatmeal okay so i have heavy breakfast okay and then i try to give a gap at least of 3 4 3 4 you know hours and then i'll i work out at if i if i have breakfast at 4 am maybe i'll try working out at 8 am right and when i try to lose the uh, weight which means if i want to burn the fat belly fat and all i try to work out on my empty stomach okay so okay uh, that part we shall come to it later so if you are serious about bodybuilding try to have protein diet i don't know what are the there are vegetarian protein diets also i am not sure how they work i never tried it uh, people say that this uh, peanuts and then um, i think i don't know some some this sprouts all these are protein rich okay but i always relied on non vegetarian food i love it and it is up to you okay so you can either take the vegetarian diet or non vegetarian diet and if you are serious about bodybuilding then just take a whey protein whey protein uh, whey protein is uh, made from milk it is 100% protein and 0% fat and uh, that protein powder you can shake you can have that shake but just be uh, but you know uh, one one thing i want to give you is if you already have some people are lean outside but then they have this uh, you know uh, fat across their bellies all right so across this this is called belly belt the belt across your belly now if you have that fat and if you take protein there is a chance that you might even increase that fat so if if you are completely lean go with the protein powder if you are okay if you are normal if you are not very lean and not uh, you know very bulk uh, then you can go with uh, the normal diet normal uh, protein diet and the morning breakfast is the most important thing okay have a very heavy breakfast and then in the afternoon and in the night eat as little as possible so whichever whatever you are trying to do either you are trying to uh, put on weight or lose weight you should avoid oil completely no sugars no oils no sweet and then no uh, no this um, i don't know what you call that flour i think we call it in i think i don't remember that flour so that basin i think yeah so no basin so all these things so no try to have carbs or protein heavily in the morning and in the in the afternoon you try to have uh, two or three roti and it is always better if you could skip the dinner 
try to have some supper at around 5 or 6 and try to avoid dinner completely if possible okay i'm not sure if, we, if you could do that so what sometimes i do is i just have a small grilled fish small piece this much this big that's it uh, just to have something in the night so that i could sleep so if you can follow that you know you will have a you will build muscle without building up putting on fat right that is about building up the muscle and for those who want to lose the uh, weight what you should be doing is diet you should be very careful about diet so try to eat a heavy breakfast not too heavy right and then uh, completely say no to dinner so dinner maybe you can have this uh, green vegetables uh, you know the, don't have the raw green vegetables just try to uh, you know put them in micro oven for 30 seconds and then you can have those green vegetables that is good and how we could uh, lose weight is when you take a larger muscle see larger muscles there are there are two types of muscles we have muscles which are small and we have muscles which are large right for example if you see this uh, abdominal muscles this is called as the core core right and then back here right and our thighs they are all the larger muscles right and then lattice so they are larger now if you look at shoulders or bicep or tricep they are all uh, you know shorter muscles what people do is when they want to lose weight you should not work out for the shorter muscles you should go for the longer muscles like uh, work out for your thighs work out for your legs and do the core core body workout right so again get a coach and then don't do the workout for chest only for chest or only for bicep you should do along with them other things as well so what i mean to say is when you work out on these larger parts of the body they will consume more energy because of which more fat you could burn right um, see uh, I, th I think you are getting the point so the main intention here is to burn the fat now how do you burn the fat is you have to do lot of cardio maybe four hours per week you do cardio so cardio means either running or swimming or cross trainer or anything you can do or you know and then uh, it is it is just a myth that in order to get great abs six pack or eight pack you need to do the you know crunches so crunches doesn't give you abs everyone see even even if you are not working out if you touch here you can still feel that there are muscles abdominal muscles they are just there but only thing is they will not be visible because they will be covered with a layer right thick layer of fat that varies from person to person some people will have this thick layer and some people will have thin layer now when you get that fat levels to three percent that is where you see uh, this the, you know the sculpted bodies like Hrithik Roshan, Shah Rukh Khan or Amir Khan and yeah see and uh, now you can start arguing I think you will definitely do that you will start arguing that these people take steroids yes they might take I don't know but then without working out it is never possible right so don't just uh, uh, you know if someone is working hard don't just say that without any hard work he, he might have reached there so yes they might take it because that is their profession but then they also are working out okay and then i'll do i'll do a detailed video about so instead of asking me to do it to a detailed video what you could do is get a coach get a well well uh, qualified profession professional and work out under his guidance for three to for three to four months that's it you need not spend uh, through your entire life see i had uh, i used to have trainers maybe i worked with 10 20 trainers because I, since i started from eighth standard i had an opportunity to learn from many trainers and now i don't have any trainer i could work out on my own right and also i could sometimes adjust the machines and i could see once you that is all about how you know your intuition so once you learn it you can you know what to do right and then you can maintain it okay so once you start don't give up see i i told you that i got inspired from my mama and then one more person see i i i always used to do this workout and working out and all this as on and off which means one day weekly three days or you know i used to take a break uh, once in a while maybe for one week and then again continue i used to do like this but then some incident happened in my life which has changed my complete perspective and it had a profound impact uh, on my on on my workout routines so i don't remember exact date but it happened in 2015 so once i came to know that shahrukh khan king khan yes 
So, Shah Rukh Khan came to Hyderabad in order to uh, shoot for that movie. I don't remember the exact name. Um, the heroine was uh, Kajol. Kajol or Kajal? I don't remember. Kajol, I guess. Kajol and then one other young hero, Dhawan. Satish Dhawan, I guess. Satish Dhawan or some Dhawan is there. Now, Shah Rukh and these three people were making a movie and they came to Hyderabad in, for shooting. So, in uh, Ramoji Film City, RFC. And then I got a call from my friend, one of my friends, who is a fan, who is his fan. And then he, he told me that, see, Shah Rukh Khan is there in, here in Hyderabad. And he asked me whether I wanted to meet him. I said, yes, I was very excited because I do like Shah Rukh Khan. I mean, who, who doesn't like him? So, so yes, so I told, yeah, I, I'll come. And then we went there. By the time I think we reached there, it was around 9 p.m. So we somehow got into it because he knows someone, who knows someone, who knows someone and who knows the manager of this Red Chilies. Okay, Red Chilies is the production company he is having and so we, are, we somehow entered it and then the shooting was happening inside a set. Uh, the set, uh, set in the sense, um, you, you, I, I don't know if you understand this. So there will be a huge hall kind of thing, a seminar hall kind of thing and everything inside it will be, uh, you know, uh, designed and uh, fixed in such a way that whatever scene they require. So whatever films you see, they generally don't shoot it outside or inside a house. They just arrange everything. For example, if there is a bedroom scene, they just arrange a bed there and everything will be again, everyone will be around it. So from outside, it doesn't look like a bedroom, but whatever looks in, you, you can see in the uh, that uh, video, that just looks like a bedroom. So he was inside it. And generally when these uh, big shots, these superstars, they shoot the movies, that particular premises, that particular, uh, you know, set that will be in a closed environment and it will be completely closed. Only the uh, crew that uh, people who are involved in the shooting, they will be allowed inside. And we went there at around 9 p.m. and we were not allowed inside. Okay. So we waited there. So he came out at 11 p.m. And then we followed him. So he went into the hotel. So the hotel is also in the same uh, complex. The hotel is also in the same complex in the Ramoji film city. So he came out of the set and he was going to hotel and uh, we tried to meet him when he came out of the set. But then he was very, I think he was tired or I, I thought, okay, it would, it would not be good if I go and you know, just talk to him there. So I just, you know, we didn't, we didn't approach him. He was very busy and he was just uh, walking very fast. He got into his car and he went to the hotel. I thought, okay, maybe in hotel I could meet him while doing his, having his dinner or something like this. And so we went to the hotel and he went to his room and we were also trying to go you know go towards his room but uh, this hotel staff they stopped stopped us and so just to meet him we had to book a room it was really costly i think 10000 rupees per one night so we had booked it and then we entered the hotel and we tried to go to this uh, i think i don't remember i think fourth floor or so where this food is. so he was he was he has taken a suite we had taken normal room and then uh, you know in the in the inside that lift we had to get an access cord in order to get to that floor and somehow i managed so we, we went to that floor and once we reached there uh, the people there, there was a bodyguard standing outside and he told me that he is not inside he went to the basement so i went to the basement and in the basement there is a gym okay and it was 11 30 pm 11 30 pm not am 11 30 pm he was in the gym and he was working out like hell and when i see him i didn't see a superstar there he was not really looking like uh, you know that cute looks that he used to have in the movies so that uh, the I, I, I don't remember his all the movie names in the movies right so he he was not looking that cute he was working like a uh, slave there so he was slave there the sweat he is putting in the weights he is lifting and the cardio everything so i have seen him i watched him probably for 15 20 minutes from a distance i was not allowed to go towards him and we were not allowed to take out our mobiles or shoot him because i have requested his uh, bodyguards there were there were there were people i don't know whether they are his crew or the hotels but then they didn't let us meet him and they didn't let us take any picture but i saw him from a distance and he is working so hard that even he is doing better workouts compared to this uh, Davan, that uh, young hero. Okay. So what I what I came to uh, you know understand from I mean what I realized it I, I just spoke and uh, then I asked the people around there uh, the, why he is working out at that time. They told me that he never misses out even one session every day. 
so every day he'll try to do some physical workout either he plays basketball or he plays uh, you know some game or he does he, he gets into a gym and he works out at the end of the day before he sleeps he see that sometime he had hit the gym so that is the kind of commitment he has he is 50 years old right and he is doing so much hard work see i don't i don't know why he really have to work now right so that is called i think passion okay again i'm not <laughs> i don't want to get into that motivational things but anyway when he is doing it we are nothing right we are <laughs> we didn't achieve anything in our life till now why are you people so lazy why are you people not taking care of the only body that you have see you can change anything in your life you can change the job you can change your educational qualifications like himadri you know he is now he from ece he is coming into computer science you can change everything in your life right probably you cannot change your parents or you know brothers or sisters <laughs> you are born with them but everything else in in your life can be changed your financial position you can change it right or your job you can change it everything you imagine your house your car your whatever but only thing that you have to live with throughout this life is your body now just take care of it okay don't ignore it till you reach a point where you cannot ignore it anymore right so don't go to that point okay so if you can do this small steps single steps 45 minutes every day if you can do it without failing you will have a great life ahead you can enjoy it. so so there there is, see i'm i'm not again doing this motivational stuff i am doing it i have taken a resolution that i'll never miss out even a single session of my workout every day i try to do something and in fact what what you know yeah, you can see the picture of the gym that i have set it up in my office so in my office right beside my table the table is where i work and right beside my table i have a small gym so it is it is not very costly so the, in the picture if you see it there is this uh, trx i mean the, there is a rope hanging if you see right so that rope is nothing but trx that is a simple rope it is it doesn't cost you i think it is around 5 6 thousands you can also buy it and you can hang it anywhere and there is an app which will give you all the workouts that you need to do just you can follow it right and also the bench press the machine that you do the bench press on that is just 5000 rupees and also that machine that you are seeing the big machine that is a very cheap machine and someone has gifted me i wouldn't have bought it but then someone has gifted me anyway what i wanted is to make a gym with a very cheap equipment and go try to go to gym whenever possible but then recently I mean, after setting it up i never felt a need to go to gym because with the existing infrastructure that i have here i could do everything with trx you could use your own weight against your own muscles you can create resistance and you can create stress on your muscles enough stress so that you will be in that shape right so you can do that as well so if see if you don't have an opportunity to go to a gym now let's say you are too far from gym maybe traveling to gym and coming back is going to take one hour then what you could do is at least at your home 30 only 30 minutes do some push-ups do some squats and uh, uh, probably uh, do something for your tricep and shoulder press so simple simple things or get dumbbells i think it will be 500 rupees or something or 1000 rupees get two dumbbells and just you know do, do something with your chest and then with biceps so try doing it even at your home so so it is not that you should have a very great gym even when i saw shahrukh khan that gym was not uh, you know uh, uh, very high fi so when you see a superstar you might expect that he might use the world class equipment and then he might use this that but no he was just using uh, the uh, cheapest gym there and then even his clothes were not like you know uh, very high fi so they were just normal normal clothes okay so what what i saw was the sweat that is important so it is not the equipment it is not the clothes or uh, it is just the sweat that you you know uh, put in into it put into it so just just uh, remember it don't postpone it i have whenever i see people preparing for gate or whenever see people preparing for something they just say that after i crack gate i'll start working out okay or they say that after uh, after i h u i get a job i'll start working out and then after see what happens is this while preparing for gate you might say that after i finish gate i'll i'll start working out and then you get into masters you will never get time if you don't get time while preparing for gate 
you will never you can never manage time after you get into masters even in my masters i think i was the only guy who used to go to them in iisc and uh, and this actually my friends used to make fun of me saying how i could do that but then i i just made it a rule i never missed even workout in iisc so it is all what you decide see if you have the will you will find a way okay again again this is a, this is a statement motivational no but what I, from my experience what i found out is if you really want it you will get it done somehow so just remember it if you work out your fitness levels will increase which will increase uh, your will power so when your body is strong you will have greater will power okay that is first thing and you can put the focus on your work and second thing is you will look good that is also there and when you look good you feel confident and when you look when you when you feel confident and look good you can achieve greater things right it is not that i'm not saying that only beautiful people or you know good looking people achieve everything in the world it is not that and the second thing i really don't understand is see obesity is uh, sometimes it is genetic science says that there are certain genes which are responsible for obesity but then it is very rare especially in india it is very rare okay obesity it seems doesn't run in the family <laughs> it is because no one in the family runs so don't don't blame on your genes that okay my genes are this my genes are that no so if you are if you are having overweight if you are overweight just at least go to uh, swimming say okay one more thing i want to tell to these people who are overweight is do either uh, cross training that cross fit cross fit training or don't try to put lot of weight on your knees so if you are already overweight and if you try to run you might get some problems so try doing exercises like swimming and then dieting i mean reduce oils you see if you just say no to oil and sugar for 3 months you will lose 10 kg seriously just say no to oil and sugar for 3 months and see how you look like by the end of 3 months and saying that no takes lot of will power and will power is actually related to glucose levels in your body so it is again a cycle so whenever you have glucose levels high glucose levels in your body your will power will be high and if the glucose levels fall down your will power will be low and your resistance or you, your ability to say no will decrease again read that book uh, you know a will power by roy bomster so that is a very very nice book now in that book you can you can understand all these points so if you could say somehow no to sugar and then this you'll be able to uh, maintain that okay so this is all about the fitness that i know and in in particular if you have okay i'll i'll try to do what are the exact workouts to choose or you can just google out see only two things either you want to put on muscle or you want to lose weight if you want to put on muscle eat well eat uh, proteins and then do workout and do workout for the shorter parts of the body right and then if you want to lose weight work out for the larger parts of the body and eat less and anyone no one should really eat after 6 pm try to eat as little as possible if you are not at all able to sleep without with your empty stomach drink try drinking lot of water fill it with water or fill it with some other substances which are low fat like you can take vegetables green vegetables they they generally don't give you lot of uh, carbs or energy but they will keep the acid in your in your stomach busy you know digesting that uh, you know breaking those cellulose right so go with that mm, yeah these are the simple tips tips simple tips you can follow and start doing it see nothing really works until you start working so you should start it so the the problem with me i mean why i don't re- really motivate people is it has to come from inside you should get inspired in order to get motivated right how many our videos i make and how many our words i say doesn't work so you have to start working initially it will be difficult but once it becomes a habit it will be difficult for you to stop so go to that point where it becomes a ritual in your you know in your day and see that when you don't go to gym or when you don't do physical workout see that you know you feel guilty you reach that point then everything will be in place so just remember about sharukh khan he never misses out a single uh, single day workout even after being 
a biggest star maybe he is the richest uh, i think bollywood star right but he started with nothing and then he is there and still he is working so hard now remember that you don't have anything and you are at to begin your careers and now you have to leave at least a small mark in the world now without working hard it is not possible okay thank you